Hello, um, welcome back to a new video. Haven't made one in a while. This, uh, we're gonna be reacting to the YouTube channel called Sunny Boo. But yeah, there's one series on this channel, though, that sparks my interest of chin stroking. It's called Uncle Pete's Playtime. Now you're probably asking, what is Uncle Pete's Playtime? I'll just show you. Welcome to Uncle Petey's Playtime! Today we're gonna talk all about sharing. Sharing is bad. In fact, sharing is just a mild form of communism. We're gonna start with this new video right now called Uncle Pete's Playtime. In this episode, he covers getting new neighbors. Now I want you to sit back, relax, get ready to have a therapist next to you because after you watch this video, you're gonna question your own insanity. And watch this. Do your parents ever punch you and then blame it on their glass? Watch Uncle Pete's Playtime! Oh yeah, and by the way, every episode of Uncle Pete's Playtime, it starts with that dark, like, dark scene, like, black and white, then it says something, like, sad, like, Has your brother or sister went up to live with God? Watch Uncle Pete's Playtime! And then it just turns into this happy mood. Watch Uncle Pete's Playtime and you'll be safe from Al-Qaeda! Kids, are you questioning the existence of God because of what a priest did to you? Then watch Uncle Pete's Playtime! That happens on every single episode. Kid me not. I'm not lying. Go, go look at them. There's an actual series. There's 11 episodes. Go watch them all. It starts with either A, a sad thing, or be an unknown thing that children do not even understand yet. Hey kids, are you befuddled by that pesky downturn that the Nikkei takes on alternate fiscal cycles? Then watch Uncle Pete's Playtime! So, uh, yeah. Go watch him. Have fun. It's time for Uncle Pete's Playhouse. It's the place for fun and games. Let's just take a moment to realize that this man is insane. Hi kids! Welcome to Uncle Pete's Playtime! You know what? Sometimes families buy property that they can't afford. And that brings us to today's word, foreclosure. That's One minute, why is Uncle Pete trying to talk about words like foreclosure? Isn't this supposed to be a, like a kid's show for like five-year-olds to be just distracted to while their parents in the other room does meth? I'm just trying to say, tone down the vocab. I don't think we need to really learn about foreclosure. Unless we actually get it in the future. That's right, boys and girls. Sometimes families have to move out of the neighborhood because their property is foreclosed upon. And that can only mean one thing. New kids moving into your neighborhood. Now, when a new kid moves into the neighborhood, it's hard to tell if he's the kind of kid you should be nice to or you should treat like so much human excrement. So here are a list of ways you can tell if the new kid is somebody you should be nice to. Does the new kid's parents have a car whose MSRP is $25,000 or more? Does the new kid have both a mommy and a daddy? Not two daddies. Or does the new kid have two mommies and a good video camera? Also, does the new kid have Fox News on his 60-inch plasma television that you can see from their living room picture window? Can you visibly see any cool toys through the garage door? Does the new kid's parents employ brown people to mow the grass? All right, you already know for a fact, a darn diddly fact, that the clips that I've just shown you of Uncle Pete and what he's describing these new neighbors is going to steal their car. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna take that flat screen TV too, but you, you already know for a fact, that's not a 60 inch flat screen. You already know that for a fact. Remember kids, any new people moving into your neighborhood. I'll leave their channel in the description when I make their YCS on them. So go check them out. Don't spread any hate or anything when I'm done making that video. Just, just go check them out. They really, they'll appreciate it I think. Maybe not. They'll probably kick me in my balls since I'm doing this, but don't kick me in my nuts. Please. So yeah, 10 likes and I'll do part two of Uncle Pete's Playtime. 